nozzles to drop off a shirt. I've promised them a shirt from Purpose Built for a while now and uh, got tired of not seeing them. So I just put it on and wore it myself. So ordered them a new one. I'm gonna hand deliver it. Hopefully I don't get wet. That kind of looks like rain, but we will see. Down is so much fun. <laughs> Maybe take a test ride on the new Lowrider S 2020 model, but I don't know if you can tell it's freaking raining. So maybe next time. Uh, Jake got a shirt, super cool. <laughs> it's been a minute, <laughs> it's only been like three or four months. I swear this thing is the funnest motorcycle in traffic, I swear. I keep going back and forth with that bike, if, even if I want to test ride it because I don't know, maybe I'll like it, maybe I'll hate it. A lot of people that have ridden it said they don't like it. So, um, yeah, there's that. Another thing is that I'm kind of a guy that, that buys cheaper bikes and mods them, you know, proves to people that you don't have to have something new to be just as fast or do whatever you want or just as cool or whatever. You know, you can save some money, buy something older, trick it out for cheaper because really at the end of the day, yes, that new 2020 Lowrider S has inverted forks. Yes, it has dual disc brakes. Yes, it has the big nasty M8 114 in it. But, You'll have to change the exhaust. You'll have to change the seat. You'll have to put risers and bars on it, or bars in general. So, yeah, by the time you do that, you're talking bagger money. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to get a little bike into the bagger money area. Oh, I love traffic in Nashville. That breeze feels good from that storm, though. lighting <laughs> oh yeah it feels way better now <laughs> yeah it was like 98 heat index of 104 or something crazy today it was nuts that does look pretty dark back there oh well maybe i just sneaked it out come on dude oh this is killing me 
people ask me all the time, why I don't ride to work all the time? Because you have to deal with this crap. Well, this must be the... Is it the wreck? This might be something to do with... Why that cop car was rushing. Yeah! I hate to say yeah, but... There's some action on camera, maybe. Oh, it looks bad. That's like a head-on collision right there. It looks bad. Had people roll down this road like 60, 70 miles an hour. And it's a 45. Come on, stop looking. Ouch. That sucks. Are you rearing somebody to other vehicles probably gone? Look at that. Traffic clears up. <laughs> We're sending it. Didn't even look it up normally i have to look it up i know i'm in the 20s in the mid 20s so moral of the story is hopefully you learned something about new bikes and old bikes to me i would rather buy an old bike with some miles on it and fix it up just because of my knowledge now i understand some people get scared they want a warranty that kind of stuff but these bikes aren't hard to work on at all really once you have a, a few basic tools and some knowledge a service manual definitely helps it gives you step by step and there are tons of parts available for these things out there so uh, i think that's why it's keeping me from riding one of the new bikes but i don't know we'll see i still want to do it uh, I wanted to get it out there because they actually had theirs at Basel's a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. So I'm seeing videos all over the place for it now. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing, and we'll see you on the next one.